Hello viewers, just a short video uh, on something that came up with the bushfires around our area in recent weeks. But first off I'll do a couple of channel um, shout outs, Australian YouTube channels. Uh, in Your Yard Homestead, Homestead Oz, CF Jingara I think it's pronounced and wobbles on a lot uh, we've been keeping in contact with each other reference the bushfire crisis here in australia uh, giving each other a lot of support so please have a look at those channels i'll put the links in down in the description box below and uh, please support their channels okay getting into the nuts and bolts of this video During the fires around here, social media played an important part keeping people up to date, particularly Facebook. But one of the questions that came up on Facebook was, why isn't the military involved in fighting these fires? The simple answer to that is, is they're not trained to fight bushfires. They're not equipped to fight bushfires, not on the magnitude we're seeing now. Firefighting units, whether they be volunteer, rural fire brigades, units um, full-time they undergo a lot of training to fight fires uh, whether it be structural fires or bushfires like we're experiencing now on our east coast the military yes in times of disaster they have been deployed uh, for search and rescue recovery uh, airdrops uh, evacuations um, sometimes uh, use to assist in observation of uh, areas of that have been declared natural disasters and things like that. Uh, even the Navy has been called in uh, early this year in February with the uh, devastating floods up in Townsville to get supplies into that particular city because all land and air links were at that time uh, were cut. It's one thing to say let's get the military involved and we've got to be careful about how we look at this. The military uh, are not trained in firefighting, as I said, nor are they trained in civilian law or civil law. In times of natural disaster, um, yes, we've had checkpoints and roadblocks around here manned by the police. They are trained in civilian law to detain or make arrests arrest if necessary. ADF personnel are not, not in civilian law. Under martial law, that's a whole different ball game. Certainly in uh, the fire f situation around our area, yes, the military were providing assistance, logistical assistance in the form of communications. Some aircraft were probably used uh, as spotters or observation platforms for uh, the civil authorities and they certainly don't have the firefighting equipment or the training or the experience to fight these fires. It's as simple as that. So that's basically how I put it. I spent 32 years in the Defence Force, 20 of them in uniform and 12 as a civilian. And during that time, in my training, in my corps, I was in Royal Australian Signals, we were never ever trained to fight bushfires. Smaller fires with fire extinguishers and things like that, yes, we were trained. Military bases, some of them do have specialist teams, fire teams to fight fires such as chemical fires, munitions fires, fuel fires, uh, even on ships they have specialist teams to fight fires on ships and things like that. Totally different scenario. Different firefighting equipment, different training and that's, that's the basis of it. So for people who watch this, particularly uh, in Australia, it might give you a better understanding of why the military is not at the coalface with experienced, trained firefighters to fight these bushfires. 
you're putting lives at risk by sending military in there to fight these fires because they have no experience and no training. Yes, in the logistics of fighting these fires, yes, they can and do assist, and they have done. So that's pretty well the basic wrap-up over that. Just bear that in mind. They are providing logistic support when they are requested to by civil authorities, emergency authorities. You may not see them, but they are, they are in the background, they're in the situation rooms. And base commanders, area commanders, it has to go depending on what's needed, what logistical support is, is needed. The, Base commanders, district commanders have some autonomy on how to deploy assets. But as these situations ramps up, sometimes it has to go up to the Minister for Defence, up in the federal levels, right up the command chain. So bear that in mind. They're not sitting on their backsides doing nothing. They are being deployed as required in logistical support. And that request has to come from civil emergency authorities. Thank you, viewers.